oh my God, I have a stalker. Thank you for being my biggest fan. I mean, if you aren't, then you wouldn't have followed me in real life and made a channel solely devoted to make videos of me. I thought my life was boring until you came along. Thank you for all the stories and time you put into making my life more interesting. Thank you for worrying about my health so much you followed me around to make sure I was okay and then posted video of me. Huh, for two or more days. Wow. Not sure I would do that. They might get the idea that I was stalking them. <laughs> wow. You sure have come up with some interesting stories. Can't wait to see part nine. Can you put it on Netflix? Please, do go on and tell me more. I didn't know I couldn't walk at all. Oh, my God. I thought that after five or so minutes, I had to use my cane or sit because my back starts hurting. Maybe I am wrong and didn't don't know my body better than you, huh? Thanks for saying I couldn't use my hands at all. I thought it was only two fingers on each hand that are numb and that I have muscle spasms that make me drop things off and on because of ulnar nerve neuropathy. I must not know my own body better than you. I must tell my own doctors what you have said. They must have gotten my tests wrong for years. You mean to tell, tell me all my medical records from my doctor's office are fake? Oh my God! I'm going to have to tell my doctors to give me real records. Now I am mad. Here I was thinking they were real. Thank you for taking video of my daughter at her birthday dinner last October 24th that her dad paid for. I didn't take any videos, so I have to keep this one just for her. However, it's a little fuzzy. Next time, please make sure it's not so dark. Couldn't see who was who. Loving your grammar. You rang up the police. <laughs> hint, hint. In the USA, we say, called. Thank you for telling people I don't have problems with my neck. Sheesh. Never mind these headaches I get every day from problems with my neck. According to H.O.T., who knows my body better than me, they are not real, and I take imaginary medicine for the problems, too. And my MRIs are imaginary, too. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. I really got to contact the doctor about all this. Thank you for telling people I don't have problems with my knee after six years. Wow. I guess I can stop wearing my brace now. Never mind the swelling and the pain if I get on it too long. Hot says it's not real. Thank you for telling people I don't have problems with my ankle. Guess I don't need my ASO brace now. Never mind that the brevis tendon was damaged, that my ankle is split open so many times from how many times it's swollen and unswollen when on my feet that the doctors gave me. Doctors gave me an ASO brace so I can walk without flipping my ankle. I mean, you know my body better than even my doctors, according to you. So, guess I should tell them my internet stalker has declared me fit. You telling me to post my medical records is funny. Doctors have them at doctor's office, and I only get copies of MRIs and report. And they state on them, do not post, meaning paper part. I'm sure you know that if you get MRIs, and if you live in the USA, then you surely know you don't put the record online. But then again, you, you said they aren't real anyways, so why would I bother? And by the way, the one that you took and copied and turned over, that one was real and it states right at the bottom, do not post. Yes, I called the police and the FBI. Why wouldn't I? I have nothing to hide. You mean to tell me you thought I wouldn't? 